How to Be a British Spy by Margaret Nam and it's filmed by Cherry Zane. Hello, my name is Amelia George and I'm an expert on British spying. I have followed around all the famous spies, even the Major himself, John Andre. I have even ha I even have caught people like Nathan Hale. Oh, what a rush. Oh, what a thrill. Me riding on horses, speeding through the night, warning stupid colonists about fake information. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. I want to tell you, my friend, about how, the, how you are going to contribute to the British. Yes, we are in quite a competition, as you can see, because we are much needed spies. Oh, so, right, right. Uh, the recruitment? Okay. Hello, I'm back again at the beautiful Amelia George. And now, without time to waste, let us start with your lesson. Sneaky and deceitful. Something you have to be when running into an American or when you need to count a car. This skill is important. Uh, be, or this skill is important. You have to lie and blend in with the colonists because lying will be a big part of being a spy. So is tripping colonists. Become a sneaky person that can deceive others and always keep an eye out. Do not get confused and make sure you have to be. Yeah, you make sure you have been able to trick the colonists. Well, I guess that's wonderful advice, don't I? Amelia George, just teach the lad how to become a spy and stop talking about yourself. Master Janice. Okay, so we're back on track, and I have to teach you about your identity. I'm identity. Make up an identity to trick colonists. You will need to make up a secret identity that is believable. You can use this for when you cross American borders and make a fake profession to work with the Americans. Play the part of a regular American colonist and catch up on the gossip. Do not ever change your identity because uh, for colonists may report suspicious activity and that could be you. So when someone rep goes and reports you, another, will per another person will realize you are a spy. Now have an identity, stick to it, and it takes every advantage. See and coordination are required for being a spy. When you have to run or do a quick action like stealing a letter, you have to be able to be fast or coordinated. Also, when you have to do a fast mission after fast mission, you have to have stamina, but also be efficient. Being both coordinated and efficient do not seem very important, but think of a fat person who is, who is very slow trying to get a mass message through the borders. He would not succeed and maybe get caught. That is probably why most spies tend to be quick. Quick, quick. I myself that is completely fabulous. It's the fact that I'm completely amazing. Amelia, if you talk about yourself one more time, I will not let you have your badge of narrator for the rest of the time. What? Yes, ma'am, but I can't lose my badge of honor. Or badge of honor again. I have to wait for two whole weeks. Exactly, Amelia. Now come. Yes, we were very sorry for that break. Let's just say it, we had some <coughs> difficulties. Yes, um, some difficulties. Now let's just finish teaching you all the steps. Do not trust anyone and be aware. If you are not careful, it is likely you will be caught and killed. When going into American borders, you have to make sure that you are not telling any information or giving hints that you are a spy. Act like a colonist, and even when you think someone is British, do not give any facts or you will be caught. Americans will do everything that, you, that they can to get information, but you cannot give it to them for your life, even if you are harassed, teased, and beat up. You might even hear about information about yourself, like gossip and suspicions, but just complain and gossip with them and continue gathering information. Okay, I wonder if there are more there are more people like me right now. I don't know. Young spy, can you find out? That's it, Amelia. I will not accept this type of behavior again. Hand over the badge. Wait, no! I need my badge. Finish your training, young spy. I am Janice, or Master Janice, as you might know me. But this is besides the point. Now, please go out and get your some information. I'm very sorry for all the trouble through training. Amelia is sort of, well, crazy. Good day. I'll be seeing you tomorrow.